right, working through what happened yesterday. At the same time, Border Patrol is investigating a hole in the U.S.-Mexico border fence and whether that SUV came through that site. Olivia Sandusky joins us live from the Indio Border Patrol office with the very latest. Olivia. Sarah, tonight ICE and Border Patrol agents are investigating what they're calling a human smuggling event. Now, it's still unclear what up led up to that crash on Norrish Road, but we do know, according to officials, it all began with a breach in the border wall. The Mexican consulate gives an update about the gruesome accident in Holtville. They've confirmed 10 of the 13 victims were Mexican citizens. And CHP officers say the Ford expedition they were traveling in was carrying 25 people. There's major intrusive damage into that SUV. Um, the fire department had to cut the front seat out of the vehicle to help extricate, extricate people from the vehicle. And in examining that after they've done that, we do see that there are are not seats in the rest of the vehicle. But that wasn't the only incident that took place on Tuesday. About 10 minutes prior to the crash, a red Suburban caught fire a few miles away. It was carrying 19 undocumented passengers who tried to hide in nearby bushes. Uh, those individuals were apprehended with the Border Patrol. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says both vehicles were part of a wall breach near Interstate 8. The agency's surveillance video shows the cars pass through this hole in the border wall around 6 in the morning. But officers say there was no pursuit prior to the incidents. We're not sure exactly what caused the collision, but there were no, was no law enforcement involved with this incident. ICE tells NBC Palm Springs they've now initiated a human smuggling investigation and no other details are available. However, social Social media users are alleging that this wasn't the Ford Expedition's first trip across the border. A video taken last July with the caption American Dream shows a vehicle with the same color and model being filled with passengers. Agencies haven't commented on the video, but they say they continue to identify victims and notify their families. What we have to keep in mind is that 13 people died in this crash. We owe it to the families and those killed and injured as well as the public to conduct a thorough and complete investigation. And four of the patients that were involved in yesterday's crash were transported to Desert Regional. Tonight, we know three of them are stable. One still remains in critical condition. Reporting live in Indio, Olivia Sandusky, NBC Palm Springs. Thank you, Olivia. Unaccompanied minors detained on the Mexican border are often held in custody longer than the law allows. Now, according to an internal Border Patrol document, the average time in custody is 77.